Hello everyone and welcome to the Mernstack. In this video, we'll be creating a simple application which will demonstrate how Toast work in React or any other JavaScript application. So here basically we'll have a button on clicking which a method is called like show Toast and then where we pass a custom message and then it displays it on the screen. So whenever I click this button, you can see logged in successfully. So this is a Toast and it disappears after a specified timeout. So I hope you're excited. So this will show you, it will demonstrate you how they work behind the scenes. So let us implement this. So create a new folder in your desktop and name it React Toast. And open up your favorite code editor. I recommend using VS Code. And in your code editor, simply drag this folder and it should load the directory. Now open up your terminal. And here we are already in this directory, React Toast, which we just created. And simply run the command npx create React app, then simply put a dot since we are in the same directory where we want to create our React project. Now this command will set up our React project in a couple of minutes. Okay, so once all of your packages are installed, simply run npm start in your terminal and then it should spin up the React web server in your browser. So now here it should load localhost 3000 port and here your React application should load. So yes, this is our React application and it is telling us to edit app.js which is our entry point. So go to src, go to app.js, let's close this terminal, and here I'll simply remove everything inside this div element. And I'll just write react toast to see if any message comes up. Yes, we can see react toast in our browser. Now I want to separate this to a component. So simply create a new component, react toast.jsx, and here I'll use rfc which is a shortcut. Because of an extension, you can also download the extension. So here I'll write React Toast component, component, and I simply want to use this component in AppJS. So this component will contain all the logic for displaying Toast, the styling for the Toast, right? So that we can simply import the component in any file we want and then use it. So I'll say import React Toast from dot slash React Toast. So here I simply want to use it. I will simply want to render the component. So I have to just write React Toast, then this slash React Toast. So now we can open up in our browser and you can see React Toast component. Now here we want to add styling for our Toast. We want it to show up in the left side of our browser. So what we'll do, we'll create a new CSS file. So I will say toast.css and here all the styling for our React Toast will contain. So what I want to do, I want to import the CSS file dot slash toast.css and then here I want to add a class name so that I can target this class. So class name is equal to React Toast Container. So here you can simply copy up this class name, use the dot here, and then add styling. So first I want to change the background color. So I will say background color black. And then I also want to change the color to white, text color. So you can see a horizontal bar with React Toast component is being styled, has been styled. And now we want to make its position fixed so that even if we scroll our page, the Toast will be visible. So I will say position fixed and I want the top, uh, not white, position should be fixed. I want the top to be 20 pixels and from the left 20 pixels. All right. And I also want to add some padding. So padding of uh, 15 pixels and then a little bit rounded corners using border radius of 5 pixels. So now if we check again, you can see there is a circular styling and it's at the left. So I also want to add a little bit z-index so that it's not behind the other elements if we have some fixed position elements. So let it be 1000. And then if we go back, I can see React Toast component, it's still as it is. Now, we want to add the functionality to hide and show dynamically whenever we run a function, say show toast or something like that, right? Okay, I a little bit want to zoom out because I zoomed in a lot actually. So here I want to create a button somewhere down here, like click me or something like that, or login button. So whichever it is, uh, I want to create in this page app.js. So I want to say a button like click me or show toast, something like that, show toast. And I think the button will be behind this toast. So I want to add a little bit of gap here. So I want to add a div, I want to add a div with style height should be around uh, 100 pixels let's check 
let's see if, the, if there's a div element with some height yeah and shotos is in the center because of this app class okay so if you check this uh, app.css there should be styling for app where text align is center so we can also comment that if you don't want so it'll be at the left show toast okay so we can add some padding here in our app class padding 30 pixels we can simply write 30 in react no need to write pixels all right so we have this show toast button and whenever we click this button i want to hide and show this dynamically right so what we can do we have to toggle classes first of all so in react toast i want to create a state of show or hidden so for that i have to import use state so import use state so, so that i can handle state in my application so the state name will be show and set show equals to use state by default it will be false so it will not be shown so i also want to dynamically toggle the class name based on this so i will say class name react host container and i will use template strings so that i can dynamically create the string for show class so i will say if show is true it should add the show class otherwise it should not add any class so something like this right and let me hide this yeah i hope it comes down all right so anyways so this show class will be added whenever this is true otherwise it will not be there so i can add i can copy up this class name again dot show so if it has both the class names then we can uh, simply say something like uh, i will use transforms actually so transform translate so by default it will be somewhere out of the screen so we can say minus uh, 500 pixels so translate x so its x position will be somewhere left far left from our browser screen and whenever the show class will be added it should turn to zero so that it comes back to its original position all right so if we check our browser you can see currently is invisible but if we go back to our component and set it to true statically you should find that it comes back to its uh, original place so on clicking this button we should be able to toggle this right so what do we want to do we want to create a function here which will be callable from app.js so that whenever we click this button or whenever some action happens in our web page like whenever a user logs in or whenever a user creates an error then we should be able to show the messages right so we should be able to call some kind of function like this dot show toast something like this right so we will for that, we want to create this function handler here and it will be callable from this parent component. So to do that, you have to use a function called use imperative handle. So import use imperative handle, use imperative handle. So this is a hook by React which allows you to extend the child component with methods which can be called from the parent. So for this, we have to use the concept of forwarding refs. So we'll be using refs. So basically, it's a reference to a component or a DOM element, which allows us to call methods. So what we have to do, we have to export forward ref. So I can, I can I have to import again forward ref. So let me check forward ref. Yeah, this method is available. So export default, let this function be here. So this is our functional component as usual. And here simply you have to wrap it inside forward ref react toast. So now we have wrapped our component inside forward ref and because of which as you know the first parameter is always props but because of this forward ref you'll get another parameter called ref okay or refs simply like that and now you have to use this in use imperative handle so just follow me for a while and it'll come to know so here i can simply say ref here the first argument is ref that you have to pass and the second argument will be a function that returns an object so using ES6, ES6 syntax, using arrow function, we can return an object like that. And here I will create a method called show toast. So show toast. So this method right here. So this is a method of this object. So which will be callable from the parent. And here we want to set the show like this. This dot set show. Oh, sorry, I mean set show. We can call this and make it true, right? And then we can add a timer, set timeout so that our alert will be closed automatically uh, this should be a function body so we can say set show is false 
after a specified timeout. So the timeout will come from the props. All right. So we want to destructure our timeout. So timeout. I will add a default timing of 1,500 milliseconds. So this will be customizable from this component. So we can say something like timeout equals to uh, 1,000 seconds. So this will change. Also, it should be a number. So let me wrap it up inside JSX. So this is timeout JS expression here, 1,000. And this timeout will be will be coming here. And whenever we call this show toast function using refs, so our toast will be shown. And then after a specified timeout, it will be hidden. So as you have seen, we have already added the classes. So this should pretty much work. And this is our timeout. So what we'll do, we'll go back to our app.js. And now we'll create refs. So what you do, you have to import use ref. Whenever you want to use refs, so use ref, import use ref from React. And here, you have to create const toast ref. So I've named your toast ref to avoid any confusion. And here you have to use ref. And now you have to pass this toast ref to this component. So you have to say ref attribute equals to, and simply pass the ref that you created here using the useRef hook. And now we can use this toast ref to show the alerts. So whenever we click this show toast button, say we'll have an event handler called onClick. OnClick, which will run a function called handle click, handle click. And here we can define our function handle click, right? And in this function, we can call toast ref dot current you have to use current okay so using dot current you can access this component element and here whichever method we extended in use imperative handle and also remember you can have more methods like show toast hide toast show error toast you can have a lot of different methods so for the sake of simplicity we have only one method here show toast so let us call show toast and i forgot to say one thing we have to add a custom message here soon but for now, we'll be showing this default message called React Toast component. So let us see by going to our browser. So by default, it should be hidden. So I think I made it true here. So it should be false. Show should be false by default. Now, whenever we click show toast, our on click function, this one, uh, handle click will run and it should show our toast. Show toast, you can see the toast is, has come and automatically it uh, disappeared after the provided timeout. So if we make timeout to three seconds, it should stay a little bit longer. So click show toast. You can see it stays for a bit longer. Uh, also, we want to add a little bit of animations. As you can see, we already have transform. So that's why I didn't use display none because it will suddenly appear and disappear. So here I want to use transition. So transition 0 0.4 seconds. So the translate will be visible. You can see it comes from the left and it goes back after three seconds. So we can decrease this timer right here. Even if you don't provide, it will have 1.5 uh, default milliseconds. So I'm making it two seconds. So show toast, it comes from the left and goes back to the left. You can also make it come from the top. So you simply have to say translate Y, negative uh, 500 pixels. So way above your browser screen, and then it comes back. So click show toast, it comes from the top, and again, it goes back. Now we should be able to provide custom messages and let us do that. And again, for that, we want to accept a message uh, parameter in this show toast function. It's very simple. Simply get a message parameter. So message will be empty by default if it's not provided. And what we want to do in this set show, we want to uh, have a message state. Okay. So we want to have msg and set, not msg, the name will be same, toast message and set toast message. So this is our message right here. So what we want to do, whenever we call this function from that uh, parent component, so we want to set the message to this argument provided. So And then we want to use the toast message instead of this default message. So simply render this inside JavaScript expressions. So your toast message should be displayed. And now what we will do, whenever we uh, call this show toast, we will provide a message, uh, say, logged in successfully, right? So let us see if it works. So go back to your browser and click show toast. Logged in successfully, right? So you can also create more toast right here. Say we have, uh, we can have another button, right? We can have color. We can also customize our color, say a type equals to success, something like this. And you can customize your component based on these props. So you can set the background color or add a custom class like this. So this is how you implement your own custom toast. So, right? 
So simply you have to bring this, simply you have to import once your component is done. And then add a ref like this. So create a ref using use ref. Pass the ref equals to toast ref like this. Set your custom timeout however you like. And then use this ref to call your toast. So you can have another toast component with toast ref2, something like this. Right? And you can show, you can have a different timer. You can have different type like error or success. And then toggle the colors. Right? And then you can call it in whichever method you want. Simply you can call the method. Or if you want to customize more, you can simply add more methods. Show toast, show error toast, something like this. Show different messages. So just like that. So you don't need a library, but this is how React Toast library or similar libraries for alerts and toast work. Thank you for watching and see you again in the next videos.